How much you want to bet I'm going to score on this play? I'm going to score first play on this drive. Okay, I did it. If you need fast, cheap, and reliable muck coins, make sure to check out rockbottomcoins.com and use code 407 for 15% off. And also, if you guys want to play in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out Tony Crip and go sign up for a tournament. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Rep in the 407 here, bringing you a brand new video. In today's video, we are hopping on the Draft Champions because they recently updated mud draft so it's no longer just base elite cards now they got like the theme builder legends theme uh diamond no theme diamond legends theme builder cards so that's what we're going to do i'm gonna just draft the normal team i'm not going to do like a theme draft i'm just going to draft it and see what players come up so here we go round number one is a tight end round and i have to go with no other than my main man george kittle this card is always amazing so i have to pick him up Round number two right here, we are going to get some mud superstars. I'm going to go with the highest overall in Jonathan Joseph. Those cornerbacks weren't the best. Right here, I'm obviously going to go with the 86 overall because why would I go with a 78 when there's an 86? Same thing. Why would I go with a 77 when there's an 86? So that is two good linemen, and we're going to get another good lineman. Look at that, 89 Adam, Adam, I cannot speak, Adam Timmerman. That's a nice card right there. Uh, 89 in round number five that's pretty good right here we are going to get i do not know should i take a dory jackson or landon i'm gonna take a dory just because he could kick return so that's why i'm gonna take a dory jackson put him on kick return and all that right here round number seven wrong vikings running back i did not want him i wanted um dalvin cook but i am going to take zeke as our running back in this round round number eight we are going to get go with the the obvious elite player in this round geno atkins is going to be our d tackle a legend a 90 full legend kevin malway we're definitely taking him our o-line is looking amazing right now right here rec uh, receiver round we have two trash panthers receiver well let me stop dj moore i like dj moore but still it's just the card isn't that great i'll just go with curtis samuel because he's faster right here we have a free safety round i'm gonna take minka i'm gonna take minka because he's on the uh not the patriots wow He's on the Steelers now, so even though we traded our first round pick, which was kind of stupid because we're going to suck this year, we still got him. Uh, Levante David, we're going to go with the only elite. I don't know why we traded uh, for Minka because we're going to be trash, but I will definitely take it. But at the same time, I would have liked to have that first round pick. Right here, I'm going with Big Play Slay though because I love Big, uh, Big Play Slay's card in every single game. Here we are going to get, uh, do I want to go Thielen? I'm going to try out this Jordan Reed. I'm going to go with Jordan Reed to run, uh, run two tight ends because that's what I normally run. Right here, we are obviously going to go with Bobby uh, Wagner. Brian Burns is a nice car card. I would like to try him out, but Bobby, that's a hands down. We're taking him. Quarterback round. Ooh, we're getting Fitz Magic. Look at that. Look at that card. Art. That card art is amazing. 84 overall QB. It could have been better, but that's fine. Right here, we are going to take Chris Harris Jr., get another number two cornerback. And we already have a right end, so I'm not taking Justin Houston. I'm going to take Lorenzo Alexander since we don't have a right outside linebacker. Last two rounds right here. Do we have a left tackle? We do. We already have a tight end, so I'm going to take Emmanuel Sanders. We don't have much receiver, so that's a good good pick. And last round, okay, another receiver, another cornerback, and a full legend D tackle. So we have an 86 D tackle. We have two cornerbacks already, and then we already have two uh, wide receivers I do not know who to take. I think I'm going to go with the receiver. I think I'm going to go with Antoine. I, I want Allen Page, but at the same time, I do need a better receiver. So I'm taking Antoine. So here we go. Here is the lineup. We have Fitz Magic, Ezekiel Elliott. We have Antoine T.Y. and Emmanuel Sand Sanders. Our O-line is amazing. Look at that. Just 86 and above except for our left guard. Then we have George Kittle and Jordan Reed, so two tight ends. And then the defense, we have Bobby Wagner, Levante David, Lorenzo Alexander. Our DBs are kind of weak, our safeties especially. But we have Big Play Slay and Chris Harris Jr. And then we have Geno Atkins and Yannick, or Yannick Ngakwe. So that is the lineup. We are uh, 82 overall. Not the best. But still a pretty good lineup. I like the updated draft so you could get more new players and all that. But let's hop into the game and see how these players play. 
So here we go, we are starting off the game on offense, and we are going to start off with a run play with Zeke. We got some nice blocks right there, so he picks up, what, six yards? I'll take that. So second and four right here, I feel like Randall could get open. His man, uh, his cornerback is playing press, but right here he's not. I'm going to throw it up to square. Let's see if we can make a play with Emmanuel Quack. Sanders, and we throw a pick. I'm not surprised. That's fine. I was trying to test it out, but at the same time, I seen it coming, so it's okay. So here we go on defense. He has Mahomes. It looks like David Johnson as his running back, which isn't the best running back. But right here, we are going to stop him from the first. Fourth and inches, he is going for it. Let's see if we get a clutch stop. He's going with a pass play, which is kind of interesting. And he goes to D-hop. He's going to get more than a first. Right here, come on. And it looks like he's going to score a touchdown because some for some reason, I can't just... It doesn't let me like keep up with him. So something that should have been a turnover on downs turned into a touchdown. So here we go back on offense after we couldn't score. We are going to quickly pass it to Kittle. He is wide open, so why not? I will definitely take that. That's a 26-yard game. Third and two. I feel like T.Y. can burn his man because T.Y. is obviously a speedy receiver. We just didn't get the blocks, and T.Y. didn't burn him. So fourth down. All right, so fourth and seven. I am actually going to go for it because I feel like I can get the first down. It's just who is going to get open. Circles wide open right there. Emmanuel Sanders with the catch, and that is a touchdown. How did he catch me? I thought that was going to be a touchdown, but we're at the one yard line. We should be able to score. Second and goal at the three. We need a touchdown right here. R1, and I can't pass it off on time, but Zeke was wide open. Third and goal. We definitely need to score on this play because if not, it'll be a bad sight. But let's see who is going to be open. Triangle might be my target. That was a stupid pass. He gets the interception, but he is at like the four yard line, so. I still wanted a touchdown. I, I can't believe Emmanuel Sanders didn't score. Third and 12 right here. Let's see if we can force a safety. Okay, no, he's going to go with the pass play. Let's see if we can get a stop. And he goes to Delaney Walker. I don't know why that guy wasn't playing on him. He just stood still. My safety just stood still and did nothing. First and 10, I feel like he's going to go to D-hop on this play. This is that out route. Let's see if he is. Okay, no, he goes short to Devontae Adams, and he is going to get the first down and more. First and 10 right here. Let's see if we could actually get our first pick of the game. He is going to go deep. Big play slay. And D-Hop holds on to it. This guy is making some ridiculous catch right now. First and 10 at the 16. We need to get an interception right here. He's going short. I seen it coming, but Delaney Walker is just faster than Bobby Wagner. and He's going to score the touchdown. Wow. So we're down 14-0. We need to do something on offense. So 20 seconds remaining in the first half of the game. We obviously have to do something right here. I'm going to pass it a triangle. He has a, his man beat. One man a beat right here. Okay, I that didn't work. At the 25-yard line, 10 seconds to go. Let's see who is going to be open. Circle is going to be open down the middle. That should be a touchdown. T.Y. Hilton, let's go. Right before the time ran out. I'm pretty sure he gets ball at half. But we can't allow him to score in the five seconds, obviously. But at least we're, it's a one-possession game now. All right, so here you go, starting off the second half of the game. And, of course, my camera wasn't recording. What is a repping video without my camera stopping recording for, like, a second and, not me, and me not realizing? But we're back. That's all that matters. And good hit by Bobby Wagner. Right here, he is going to try to get the first down, and he's going to probably go for more. Come on, Darius Slay should be able to catch up with him. Okay, at least he didn't score the touchdown, but he does get a nice run with David Johnson. Third and six, I'm, I'm calling it. This is going to be a huge stop right here. One man to beat. Okay, fourth down. He's probably just going to take his three points, make it a two-possession game. So here we go back on offense. He did take his three points, but right here we are just going to run an RPO. Circle is wide open. I'm going to just quickly pass it to him. And, of course, it's the legal whatever it is, a uh, legal man downfield. Yep. I hate how RPOs are automatically illegal man downfield. Third and 17, we obviously need a first down. So let's see who is going to be open. It looks like circle, but we have no time. So it's fourth down. We're just going to have to kick the ball off again. Third and five, we need to stop here. Come on. Can we clutch it up? He's probably going to go short. And right here, where is he going to go? He's going deep. Come on, big play slay. Okay, we swat it down. We just, I don't know why we can't catch an interception. Fourth down, he's going to take another field goal. First and 10 at the 46 yard line right here. We are going to see who gets open. Go upfield. Okay, I'm throwing it to Kittle. He has Keekly and oh, it's out of bounds. That was out of bounds. Of course, it's an interception. That was out of bounds. And out of bounds. How is that inbounds? How is that inbounds? I can't challenge the play because Madden doesn't let you challenge. That was out of bounds. So this is after the game. But look, I'm showing you right when it happens. Tell me how this is inbounds. Tell me how this is inbounds. Like, how? How? You see his foot right there. You see... Look. 
right here. He still doesn't have the ball. This is where he's catching it. One foot out. How did he get the interception? I don't understand. It's Madden, though. I guess it's college rules. I don't know. So the game is coming to end. Two-minute warning just hit, and it's still a 6-17 game. I can't do anything on defense, clearly. Like, my defense cannot get a stop. But let's see if we can do something on this play. Right here, he's probably going to go back to D-Hop. Big play slay. Yep, he makes the catch. No surprise. First and 10 right here. He's probably going to go back to Delaney Walker like he always does. Okay, he goes to D-Hop, and it's the same post route. Like, out, or out route? It's not an out route. A minute remaining in the game, and it's basically over. There's... We have no time. He's in field goal range, so it's going to make it a three-possession game or still a two-possession game. I'm not sure. But right here, we are going to see if we get get a stop. He's going to go to D-Hop once again, and D-Hop is just making every single catch. Like, this guy's always open. 20 seconds remaining. He's most likely going to score right here. And... We lock up D-Hop, and then the other guy's open, and he just catches it. How much you want to bet I'm going to score on this play? I'm going to score first play on this drive, but the whole game I struggled to score. Right here, we're going to throw it up. And yeah, okay, I did it. what I tell you? what I tell I got extremely lucky, but what I tell you? <laughs> I don't know how I got it. So here we go. That is going to wrap up the game. Here's the stats. If you were wondering, I'm not going to like say them. I'll just let you see them. But that is going to wrap up the gameplay. Thank you guys for watching. The updated draft was pretty cool. You get to use new players. But at the same time, I wish there was more players, even though the content hasn't really came out. They need to come out with more content soon because right now Madden is kind of dead. Early in the year. It's only September and the game came out in August. But they need to do something about it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe like always. I will be posting more videos soon. But till next time, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care and peace out.